So, I've got a little bit of time. I'm starting to record for a, um, it's going to be the envelope video this time that me and Thinking Extra Walk are working on together. Um, the idea of this uh, envelope video is that I have collected evidence for a little bit of a kind of a puzzle, just mostly for fun, that me and Thinking Like Sherlock have both looked at now. And we've had a couple of days to look it over. The idea is that we haven't talked about the case so far. So we're making our own individual deductions based on the evidence that I found with the same information that we've got. We both have the same starting information. And the hope is that both of us will be able to make deductions about the case and either we'll come to the same conclusion or we'll come to differing conclusions. And it'll be a similar idea to that of when Arthur Conan Doyle and Joseph Bell worked together on the Jack the Ripper case. They both made deductions on what they believed to have happened with Jack the Ripper. They went ahead and stored their uh, deductions in an envelope, separate envelopes, with the intent to open the envelopes later on, and if they had come to the same conclusion, they would have reasonable assurance that they came to the correct conclusion and they knew who Jack the Ripper was. Unfortunately, those envelopes um, disappeared. No one knows where they were. I believe Arthur Conan Doyle's predictions about Jack the Ripper was that Jack the Ripper was actually a female. Uh, nobody knows the true answer, and I don't think anyone knows where Joseph Bell's went. Um, but that's the inspiration behind this idea. So I'm going to present my deductions in the following video. I'll have a link to Thinking Like Sherlock's channel in the description, and then he's going to have his deductions on his channel and we'll compare notes and see if we've come to the same conclusion so thank you for watching and let's proceed with the envelope So this is a field that we had to cross through after the hiking trip in order to get back to our vehicles. And while crossing through this field, I stopped to find a bone, a single bone. And this is, after doing some research, I discovered that this is most likely the shoulder region of a canine of some sort. And this is a canine paw print. You can tell it's canine because canines of any species can't retract their claws like felines can. Finally, we found another footprint, which is 
after again after doing some research a boar footprint wild boar and wild boars in this area which is Oklahoma are actually very aggressive and so it's my speculation that a wild boar came across the whatever canine it was and was actually able to beat it and kill it. <laughs>